Our motivation is the link conference room reservation system with automated mobile tables. Therefore, we have developed an experimental system of four autonomous table robots. A table in a room is equipped with an omnidirectional motion mechanism. A computer sends motion commands to teach the table robots. A camera on the ceiling detects each position of the table robots first. Goal position is given by GUI software on the Note PC. Path planning is then performed from the detected position to the desired position given in advance. Finally, the robots move to the desired position following the motion commands received wirelessly from the computer. This is a picture of a table robot. Each table robot has a controller CPU which controls all the motors and estimates the position of the robot. The camera on the ceiling has wide view angles and an optical filter passing red light. An image of no lighted LED and an image of one LED lighted are captured. A subtracted image is yielded from the two images and a blob of the LEDs is extracted. The center of the blob in the image is projected onto the real space. The position and orientation of the table is detected from the pair of LEDs on the both sides of a table robot. We took an approach in motion planning in trial and error manner. In the computer, the planning software moves the robots to the goal virtually. If a robot collides with another, then it retries the motion just before the collision. To set the retry position, randomized displacement from the colliding position is used. Therefore, several candidate sets of motion could be generated from the same initial position. The motions of the shortest moving distances are selected from the several motion candidates. These are other examples of motion planning. Motion plans among arbitral any initial and desired positions are yielded successfully. An experimental example of the self-realignment is presented in this movie. First, we set an arbitral position of the table robots. The ceiling camera and LEDs tells the initial position of the robot and goal position is inputted by the user with GUI. Motion planning is performed to get the root. Finally, using the root from the result of the motion planning, the tables arrive at the destinations correctly without collision. There are other examples of realignment. The tables move from the initial to the desired position successfully. The total experimental system is implemented properly in our laboratory.